Welcome to the second lesson of the Interior Design Fundamentals course. My name is Valerie, I'm the owner and lead designer of Viola House, and in this lesson we'll be focusing on the key tool in your design documentation workflow. Furniture, fixtures and equipment may sound straightforward, but in the real life projects, especially in the larger scale projects, you are managing hundreds if not thousands of products and different vendors, different timelines, different materials and availability. And those things need to be taken into account when you're creating the schedule. The whole team needs to be aligned on every changes that are happening. And well-structured schedule will help you to make sure that everyone's on the same page and you can avoid costly mistakes at the end of a project. In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a professional schedule right inside your drawing set using Rayon Design, a web-based software that will help you organize and present it visually using thumbnails, smart tables, and tags. Whatever you're designing right now, whether it's a small studio, a home, a hotel, a co-working space, this is a solid foundation for a scalable design process. And as always, you can download a free template for this schedule in the description below. So first, let's talk about what furniture fixtures and equipment schedule actually is. It is basically like an inventory of all of your uh, products and items that you are going to be using in your project. It's needed to make sure that everyone is on the same page, your clients, your contractors, your team. Everyone knows what items are expected, when they're expected, what quantities, and all the other relevant information that you might need. So from looking here at the furniture section, for example, you can see that we can add a picture, item number, so a specific code that's related to this item, quantity, color, or size, supplier, lead time, unit cost, and status. So we've looked at the presentation overall and it has a couple of pages of the schedule of the products that have been selected for this project. But you can also create a specific canvas right here on the left side dedicated specifically to the um, schedule itself. So this will give you a better overview and better information about how this project is going to look like and what needs to be purchased for that project. So you can use a table to organize it very neatly and um, have a very good representation of everything that you are doing. These types of tables are very useful for clients. So the client wants to see the picture of everything that's been done, the item number if you choose to share it, the supplier if you choose to share it, quantity, color and size, lead times, unit costs, and status. So I would say that this is absolutely perfect for them to reference and it's good for the contractors too. Within our team we usually use metadata tables and I'll show you in a second what that means. But for the clients this is actually perfect. For the images it's very easy to add them and edit them as well. So if I click on this picture right here and I click edit image I can also remove a background so Rayon has a built-in AI tool that allows to remove a background and it looks very clean, very simple. It takes a second and there you go. You have just a clean picture. So when you look at this lighting plan, this is a view from another section from our floor plans presentation and it shows you all the different lighting fixtures they're tagged by a different letter so the a b c etc you can find them right here what that allows us to do is create an actual table with metadata that will be very easy to um, transfer any kind of information to so to make it easier for you to reference all of these items and to make it a little bit more streamlined, you can use the tables feature. So this is all our canvases. And right here, the, there's a tables section. If you click on it, you'll see we've already started the light and fixture table right here. In this table, you can see all of the lights that we've tagged right here the, on the floor plan itself. 
So you see the name of the light, the tag number, brand, color, category, price. You can also add different properties to it as well, like uh, status, for example. Each item that you add on your floor plan can have metadata that can be linked into the table um, that can be easily updated. It automatically gets updated when you add items, remove items, or you want to update any kind of um, quality about the items, properties like price, color, anything like that. So if we select this slide right here, this section pops up and you can see custom properties at the bottom. So here you can change the different properties. Right now it's set to brand, tag number, category, price, and color. If you want to add something else, you can do it right here. And if you don't see the, or don't have the property that you want to add yet, you can add a new property as well. For example, we can do status and we can add different types of uh, what the output is going to look like. So right here, we'll just leave it as text and we'll do ordered, for example. So here we can change the price as well. So this one, for example, is going to be $200 and it's actually from CB2. So what's great about this uh, metadata and properties um, is that they can automatically be added into the table right here on this side. So if you could see, you can group them by brand, for example, and we can see all the brand stuff we need to specify. And here is our light that we changed to CB2. So this is a great reference. For example, I know everything that I need to get at each store. I need all the colors. I have all the counts. And if you update it here, so for example, if we grab our CB2 light that we changed, and we're going to delete that, it's going to automatically disappear from this table as well. Same thing if we want to add another one, the count is going to change to two automatically as well. So the uh, total is going to change, the total count is going to change, so it's very uh, responsive to that, which is very nice. Another thing that I want you to um, pay attention to is that you can export it as an Excel file too, and you can add it to a new Google Drive or your Excel sheet, whatever it is that you're doing. So it's very easy to implement it and integrate it into your work process as well. And if you want more information or if you want to remove any of the columns right here, you can do that very easily. So you can add our status column that we've already updated. So here it will say that these items have been ordered. And once we process this, we can update these columns as well. You can also easily remove the column if you don't want it to be visible. And of course, you can collaborate in real time with anyone on your team. You just need to click the share button at the email address. So viola.house.ca. I'm going to click invite and I'm going to get the email notification. You can change the permissions as well. So you could be a viewer, admin, um, and you can do it this way. And I'll show you another example. This view right here, this is a floor plan and it has a reference to materials that are gonna be used in every room if they're different. So you could reference them right here very easily. And again, you see the picture that helps the client to understand what they're approving the item number that helps you keep the track of the progress and um, make it, make sure that everything's clear, all the SKUs match what they need to. The quantity, color and size, supplier, lead time, unit cost and status. And of course, because it's a web-based platform, you can collaborate with other people on your team you can share the progress right here. So you have my email, you have the contact, you can do yolahouse.ca and you can invite somebody else. And one other thing that I find very useful is the comment section. So again, because it is web-based, we can very easily um, leave each other notes and see what everyone's working on and what's been done and what hasn't. 
So right here, for example, I can add a note that lead time extended by three weeks. So we can post here. So everyone knows that this item is not coming on the day that it was supposed to, it's coming in three weeks. And you can also add your reactions to the uh, comment. You can resolve it, edit it, or delete it. So after adding your comments and communicating with your team online comes the exporting part. And with Rayon, you can export your schedules in two ways. The first one is if you go into pages right here on the left corner, you can see all the pages from the presentation. They're collected right here. So you can scroll down to the pages that you want to export right here. In this case, you can do all of them. As you can see here at the top, it says 22 pages. So that would export the whole document. But if you want just specification pages, you can select them right here. And as you can see, there are two pages in the document that are going to be exported. From here, you can select how you want to export it, how you want to name it. You can change the range if you want to add certain pages. So that's going to update it as well. If you want to add a title page, for example, or anything else, it's very easy to do that from here as well. Um, you can change the image quality. And once you click export, it's going to save the document to your computer. So I'm sure you've been in a situation where you want to send the clients a large presentation and the file is too big, so you need to upload it to a drive or find an another way to share the documents with them. RAN makes it very easy because there is a presentation mode right here. So if you click on the preview, it's going to create a presentation that you can copy a URL link and just enter it into the email and they will see the presentation in real time. So if you made any updates to the presentation, they will see the latest version, which is really, really cool. And that's something that we couldn't do before if we uploaded the presentation to a drive, for example. As you can see, generated the whole presentation from the first canvas that has an overview of the presentation itself. And here are two of our specification pages. But we also want to add the lighting schedule as well. So to do that, we can go to pages, click new page, set it in the correct place right here, adjust it a little bit so it fits perfectly. And this is going to be page 23. So as you can see, it edited as the last page in the presentation. To change the order, you can easily just drag and drop it in the right place so right here and you can rename it as well and now if we want to create a presentation we can select these three pages click preview button here's our schedules and right here there is a link so you can copy that link and send it right into the email or um, whatever platform you're using to communicate with either your team or your clients, and they will have access to it and they will see it in real time as well. So right here, if you copy that link, this is how the presentation is going to look like from the client's perspective. So they just upload it here and they can see all the information that we've collected so far all the details. And again, the most important thing is that all of the updates are getting reflected in this presentation as well. So if you are still working on the project or you've made some changes, they are gonna be updated here in this presentation. You don't have to create a new link. It's gonna automatically populate for that. So that's really nice. And you can see when it was last updated as well. And this is how you can complete and streamline the furniture pictures and equipment schedules on Rayon. And if you have any questions or you need a little bit more guidance, you can now book a one-on-one -on -one demo with Rayon team in the description below. And that wraps up our deep dive into furniture fixtures and equipment schedules. Whether you're designing a single sofa or specifying an entire project, your schedule is where design meets execution.
With Rayon, you can ensure your selections are not only beautiful, but also clearly documented and easy to build on. Don't forget to download your free schedule template in the description below and start tailoring it to your studio's needs. In the next lesson, we'll cover how to create a beautiful mood boards that your clients will absolutely love. See you there.